Hello, welcome back to another episode of When You're Bored, the only show where you're bored and there's something to do while you're that. <laughs> Today, I'm gonna make a cactus out of metal because apparently real cactuses are like hundreds of dollars and I wanted a real cactus, but I can't have one. So let's get right into this one. I don't wanna keep you waiting around. Metal cactus, let's go. So I got four pieces of angled aluminum from the hardware store because I wanted this cactus to be made out of materials that anyone could get. And I'm trying to keep this one more simple so you guys can do it too. So no complex 3D printing or anything this time. He said, lying to his viewers. What was that? Is, it, is there a narrator now? Kevin was confused. He really- Wait, I'm not lying to my viewers either. Like, I'm not gonna 3D print anything. He said, lying to his viewers once again, because whether stubborn Kevin liked it or not, he was going to 3D print something that day. It was nothing more than a little guide for his drill, because with his small hands and blundering nature, he can't even drill a simple hole without putting the kibosh on the entire project. The truth hurt Kevin. Maybe someday he'll- You know what? I mean, it's kind of a good idea, okay? A guide for your drill. No one says that's a bad idea. I might do it, but not because you told me to. And they don't have to do it. He said, Are you done? As the massive weight of his ego came crashing down on top of him, shattering his fragile, enfeebled self-esteem. Ah, finally, peace and quiet. Kevin used his lies to drill plenty of holes, because unlike himself, the cactus needed to stay secure. Kevin used the bolt space and nut method, and he cut the spaces himself from a small copper pipe. He then proceeded to add arms to the cactus, made of a thinner sheet metal. He needed it to be thinner so he could cut it, because unlike the cactus's arms, Kevin's weren't so strong. He marked where the holes for the arms should be drilled, and then he drilled those holes. He then secured the first arm to the body of the cactus. Good job, Kevin. Kevin made more arms and secured those as well. He made three arms total, because only humans have four arms. <laughs> oh, I see why she left me. He rounded the top of the cactus using his metal snips. Kevin seems to think that he can just sand away all his problems. Oh, heavens. What a lovely coat of paint, Kevin. Very good job. Now, it's time for Kevin to assemble the cactus. But it needed a solid base. He thought long and hard, but decided his favorite hat would make the best base for the cactus. Kevin got his favorite cake mix and started mixing his favorite cake. Cement! He filled his hat with cement and even dribbled on the hardwood floor. Thanks, Kevin. And that was that. The cactus was done. And for the first time in what seemed to be years, Kevin felt true happiness. I think that was a lot of fun. I have a cactus now. Thanks for watching all the way to the end. If you're new here, it would mean the world to me if you hit that subscribe button. And if you've been here, I love you. So that's it for this one and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.